Welcome back to the Audio Ag Show. Judah Friedlander, the world champion. We're going to get them in a minute. We talked about uh, the fact that it's the Steve Bartman 10-year uh, anniversary of the Steve Bartman game for the Cubs. And uh, I talked about this prank phone call where Captain Janks from the Stern Show uh, claimed to be Bartman live on SportsCenter with our own Dan Patrick. Here's that phone call. Many Chicagoans point to this incident in the left field stands in the eighth inning of Game 6 Tuesday night as another in a long line of incidents that perpetuate the curse on the Cubs. At the time, left fielder Moises Alou was chasing the foul ball when a number of Cub fans, including 26-year-old Steve Bartman, reached for the ball and kept Alou from having a shot at catching it. Steve Bartman, a lifelong Cub fan, is joining us now via the phone on SportsCenter. Steve, take me back to Tuesday night. The ball is coming off the bat of Luis Castillo, and what's going through your mind? Uh, I was with a couple friends, and uh, you know we had a couple beers in us, and we were just sitting there and, and, and caught up in the, in the in the moment. And I didn't even think twice; I just reached out and, and <laughs> grabbed the ball, as anyone would have been, I think, in that position. When the ball was coming at you, did you realize that Moises Alou had a chance to catch it? Um, I could, to tell you the truth, I really couldn't see him. He was like directly under me, and 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 I just didn't see him. And 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 combined with the excitement of the minute, and may I say that I'm truly. Truly sorry for causing the heartache uh, to, to the city of Chicago, the Cubs management, team players, and of course, you know, the fans. When security came to talk to you, <laughs> right. were you being informed that you had done something wrong or they were there for your protection? Well, I was, I was told that they were there for my protection. People were throwing things at me, um, bottles, glass, plastic, and, you know, it, and, and, you know, it was very scary because I could have got hurt, uh, you know, hit with something and, and seriously injured. Have you received death threats? To Yes, I have received uh, at least five death threats um, uh, calling my parents' house and, and, you know, people get, you know, especially from the news, they've been calling and, and, I, and I'm pretty much right now, um, in, you know, hiding out right now. Can you stay in the Chicago area? Um, do you like Howard Stern's butt cheese? <laughs> We've been had. That was not Steve Bartman. <laughs> we'll be back. We've got plenty of football for you. And, uh, we'll play Dan handled that as good that as you can handle it. Yeah. Yeah, but but I, I, I've got, I got to know Captain Janks you know, over my years at the Stern Show. <laughs> Captain, he'll be the first one to tell you, he's not exactly Albert Einstein. <laughs> A great guy. Yeah. A blue collar guy. <laughs> but when he makes those phone calls, something happens where he like he like becomes sort of like a savant. <laughs> and he's able, like, he kept that going, yeah. and he, he's done it for a lot of great things. So anyway, <laughs> classic moment there. So he was 26, by the way, so he's 36 now, <laughs> Steve Barman. Uh, anyway. Wow. Uh, We've it, Been it, Had came out immediately. I know. I mean, the just the. Uh, well, I think, he, he, I think Dan probably thought that was a possibility. Yeah. yeah. And uh, James cut down the order. <laughs> for time purpose. Oh, really? I can't yeah. think. But it. I bet he thought it might have been a possibility being a, a fan of the show, you know. Yeah, yeah. it was a four, actually a four-second thing. We cut it down for time because we don't want to cut into Judah's time. Oh, it's all right, dude. Judah, how are you? I'm well. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, it's always good to have you on. Sorry I'm late, man. Now, what were you doing? Were you with Holly Barry, your girlfriend, sometimes? No, no, like, no. Like, I dumped her, dude. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah, did she's with that French guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you don't care. You just dumped she's, her off. That's how, that's how devastated like she was. She's like nine and a half months pregnant right now. Maybe. Is it I, know, I, think she, I think she had a kid. Is there a chance it's yours? Is that your baby? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I would think so. How many babies do you think you have around the world? I'm a stay away dad. I don't really keep in touch, so I don't know. How powerful... Well, now, there's a chance uh, that... No. What is his name? Oliver? Olivier Martinez or something? The, the possible father? You can call father. whatever you want to. Does you know, he know? How powerful is your... Is it hereditary? Is it hereditary? Actually, it's, it's not mine because if it was my kid, uh, Halle Berry would have been pregnant for about about Two eight weeks. and a half hours, <laughs> and then uh, yeah. so. Well, not, not, yeah. it, no, not, I was just in the East River. I was uh, helping out some mermaids. Oh, really? So, yeah, I was hooking up with these two mermaids uh, you, right in front of Aquaman. You've had intercourse with mermaids? Oh, yeah, all the who, time. Who at the time were dating Aquaman? No, no, I just I just had sex with them in front of Aquaman just to humiliate him. Right. He I, was trying to pick him up. And exactly. I, and then I came over. I understand. Yeah. Now, that your, guy sucks. If <laughs> I've never liked him. Yeah. I've always had problems with Aquaman. Dude, he's lame. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, is, is your, are your powers hereditary? Like, if you had a child, would they, the child have the powers of the world champion? Well, I have an identical twin sister, and she doesn't have any superpowers, but she's very strong. Well, clearly not. I mean... Yeah, but she's very strong. She's, she's identical. Yeah. I mean, say she doesn't have many superpowers as a yeah. woman. Yeah. I mean, uh... I, <laughs> but she looks just like me. But do you she does. Yeah. Well, uh, how, was, how was life for her growing up? Um, she, she's in therapy right now. So you're considering yeah. reassignment. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's in therapy. She, I um, understand. 
People are always like, what does she look like? I'm like, like she could survive in the wilderness. <laughs> you know, she's, she's solid. <laughs> she's strong. Now, uh, did you ever, did you pock choy over here? Or what is that t term? When oh, you, parkour. Parkour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just swam here. I just oh, you swam. swam? Here. Yeah. But, no, then, I, but then you probably parkour. No, you I was in Korea the this whole morning. Year. When I, I, you I was in Korea, in Korea this morning, morning I parkoured uh, back to New York from uh, Korea. Well, that, See, make, I don't like to that leave. makes sense. Yeah, because I don't like to leave uh, a carbon footprint, just real <laughs> right. actual footprints. No, I mean, do you, do, you, <laughs> do you, don't you think that most people have given the chance if they could parkour would take that over plane travel? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I would. Oh, definitely. It's a pain yeah. in the neck. It's quick. Yeah. How, I, mean, I'm not, I, mean, I am a pilot, and I have a, a spaceship. Well, I, I figured that. But it's it's nice getting fresh air, you know. How uh, how long does it take you to parkour from Korea to New York City? <laughs> Just a couple hours. I stopped over in China for a bit. Oh, you did. Huh? Yeah, a lot of hot chicks there. <laughs> you find chicks there too? No, no, I didn't. I I I, uh, I got brought some girls. Uh, I, I brought some girls back oh. with me. Oh, yeah, give a girl parkoured? a piggyback ride Are you to, a, to a Chinese girl. Them. That's yeah. got to impress a girl. Well, I'm girls sure are, you instantly yeah, get laid after. Yeah, yeah. Well, also, girls from China are like the easiest to pick up. You Why know? is that? Well, it's just, Very you know, light. lighter. No, you know, you're just like, hey, what's up, baby? How you doing? Uh, that works over there. You no, know, no. Then you, what's just, up, you baby? just tell. No, you just tell them uh, that you have oxygen back home, oh. and because they have so much pollution there, <laughs> you're right. just like, I have oxygen, right. and they're like, all right. You don't have human slavery. Yeah. Now you, uh, the parkouring and everything. Do you do you get? Uh, I mean, does it affect you physically at all? Or you, it just, it's nothing. No, it's just, you know, it's fun. It's just fun. Yeah. How do you learn how to parkour? That's something you. You know, there are guys that take classes. They go to England or France, but you know, I just. You picked you know, up. I've on been it. doing it my whole life. You know, I and then just recently I found out it's called parkour. It's and what just is intuitive it? to you? Yeah. yeah. You know, it was something you always yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So, in other words, like, when why, you, when why you saw it in a movie. You invented parkour. Yeah, I, I was like. When you saw it in a movie, you said, oh my God, that's what that's called? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're yeah, walking. Yeah, there, like there was a documentary on ESPN. It was yeah. called Free Running and Parkour. And I'm like, and oh. And you're like, oh, I just called that. I just call that transportation. Cool. You call it walking. Cool yeah. walking. Yeah. Well, it's like, why only walk walking. on sidewalks? That's like. That's it's like ridiculous. That's Challenge like bigoted. Walks. You know, we're only allowed to walk there. It's right. like, don't control me, America. Right. I'll do whatever I want. You something I get. Hold me. <laughs> something yeah. I get from you that I'm proud that you're honest about is, you're very heterosexual. You're very manly. You you're very, you have sex with many women. Yeah. And you're you know you, you talk about it. And I'm just you, trying to make them happy. You know, right. there's there's a lot of women out there who want to have sex with me, so I'm just trying to please them. You know. Now, what is this hat you're wearing, world champion? I've never seen this particular. Oh, hat. this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. This says world champion in uh, sign language. <laughs> This was given to me this morning in Korea at, oh, the, at the World Championships. Then, then, they were going to make it in Korean, but my uh, karate kicks were so powerful, the uh, the sound of the bones breaking in my opponent's bodies <laughs> made the judges go deaf. So <laughs> these are actually the severed, shrunken fists of my deceased opponents. Did you win yet another World Championship? They're yeah. tiny. How many yeah. is that? I don't know, dude. How many world, you know how many World no, Championships no you won? Pachetti, do you know how many that is? Around a thousand, I think, at least. I now, think he's right. I what think is right. your, uh, as a world champion, what is your history with Mike Boschetti? You know, I, you seem to know him, and Mike clearly not a world champion. No, no, no. <laughs> My, Mike's actually a pretty good athlete. I, uh, I I've I, trained him in karate. And, you have. Uh, but like I've said many times oh. before, Mike is the best journalist from Staten Island, and uh, <laughs> that's why uh, he's on break right now. But he is the uh, the world champion uh, news broadcast. No, I heard that. Now, yeah. what stories do you cover? Sure. Anything world champion, anything. Mike, give us an example. Do you yeah, remember? like where am I doing shows this weekend, Mike? You have those? No, no I, I, I got to get an update. Uh, you just so is, it, is it mostly plugs for the world champion? Wait. <laughs> I, I want to, can we Wait. rewind Mr. for a Bichetti, second? Mr. Bichetti, <laughs> you're supposed to. He does plugs for the world champion. You're supposed to be letting the public know where I'm going to be this Friday and Saturday. Oh, this is very embarrassing. I, I thought you were on hiatus. You just came back from Korea. I'm, I'm well, never on hiatus. <laughs> now, why would the world champion go on I? He's parkouring around the world. You know, I want to take back everything I said about Mr. Bichetti's journalism <laughs> skills. <laughs> you he's know, a, ever he's, since he's got on your show, he's really, he's gotten a big head. Put it, yeah. He's got an attitude. And uh, Now, would you, you, so in fact, he might be the second best journalist from Staten Island. I don't even think he's top five. <laughs> Uh, At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll make it up to you. That's champion. some world champion venom coming your way, buddy. Why don't you go to my website and find out where I'm playing this Friday and Saturday so you can tell people? Does okay, he even I know what your website is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's my website, Mike? Uh, JudithFreelander.com. <laughs> Juju Friedlander dot com. That's his guess. That's his guess. No, no, no. It's no, no. It's JudithFreelander dot com. 
Guess again. <laughs> Buzzer. Guess again. Uh, Worldchampion.com. Guess again. Uh, Jayfreelander.com. You were right the first time, Mike. Have some confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mike, you've easily been had. It was, in fact, Jayfreelander.com. <laughs> now, before we take a quick break with the world champion like that, would you like to say where you are Friday and Saturday? Real quick. I'll be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. No way! Yes. That's my hometown. At the Second Street kind Comedy of. Club. Well, grow up a Hey, I'm com uh, can I come? Yes. I, I want to come see you. Yeah, the Second Street Comedy Club. Dude, that's like 10 minutes from my two house. Shows John, Friday, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. That is Saturday. a wonderful <laughs> Venue. Harrisburg, yeah. two shows. And what is the name of the place? I can't believe it. Second this. Street Comedy Club. <laughs> well, I mean, Friday and Saturday. That was huge for us. If you yeah. parkour, the world the champion, can he, the can he get yeah. a ride if you parkour there? Can you parkour John Ritchie there? Yeah. Yeah. I, you do that with guys? I'll, I'll actually do parkour lessons after I'm the show. I'm strangely heavy. Yeah. Dude, I don't I'm, know if you could. Well, I'm very strong, too. You are. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Well, this is I exciting. want to see it. I, do you think uh, Mike could show us some of the martial arts? That when we come back him? after break, real quick, I want to see if Mike was paying attention. Can you tell us real quick again before we go to break where he's going to be Friday and Saturday? Harrisburg, PA. Where? Um, I heard Harrisburg. I Terrible. Oh, Second Terrible. Street Comedy Club in Harrisburg. Yeah, thank you, Mike. When we come back, we'll talk parkouring, maybe get the... Oh, Shetty, when you come back, I want to see some karate moves. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. The world champion, Judah Freelander, The Artie Lang Show, after these words. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.